Now a little background on Fuller, he is a 6 foot speedster from Notre Dame. He is entering his 6th NFL season, uh, his prior 5 were all with the Houston Texans. And he's coming off his best career year, even though he only played 11 games, okay? He, um, he had 879 receiving yards and 8 touchdowns, which are both career highs, as well as he had 16.6 .6 yards per reception, which is also a career high. So he played a great season last year, okay? His season was unfortunately cut short due to PEDs, and he will be suspended for the first game next season. But uh, he was on pace for, I want to say, I read, I read this on Twitter, it was like 1,279 receiving yards if he ended up playing a full 16 games. That's what he was on pace for. And I mean, that's amazing. That's really, really good, okay? Um, when, yeah, I mean, when he's on the field, notice I say when, he is a very effective player. Um, he can burn the top of um, opposing NFL's defenses. He can he can attack the middle of the field. Great route runner, great hands. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, he brings an element to the Miami Dolphins. He brings explosiveness. He brings a, a an amount of explosiveness that explosiveness that was not there before. Okay, and um, I mean, his major red flag would have to be his health. Um, he has never played a full 16 game NFL season. The most amount of games he's played in a season, which uh, is 14, which was back in his rookie year. Okay, I mean, look, I mean, looking at his season per season um, game log, he's played in. Okay, so 14, 10, 7, 11, and 11. That those are the amount of games he's played in each year since his rookie year. So I mean, durability has been a major, major concern for him throughout his relatively short NFL career thus far. So, I mean, when he's on the field, he will be a huge difference maker for this Miami team. And so he will join a receiving core with Devontae Parker, Lynn Bowden, Jakeem Grant, um, new signing Robert Foster, and um, who else? Am I forgetting anybody? Tresson Williams, he's back from injury, and of course the tight end unit led by Mike Isecki, okay? Um, it's, I think the Will Fuller signing, if anything, was really just a huge relief, especially for Miami Dolphins Twitter, which has just been in shambles over the past couple days at the lack of, um, receiving, at, at, at just the lack of weapons that we've supplemented to a tag of Aloha with throughout this short free agent period, which I remind you started Monday, I guess. It's, it started Monday. So, I mean, l l let's get into what Will Fuller will bring more specifically, okay? He is a great separator, okay? He averages um, three yards of reception per target, I believe, or per reception. Not exactly sure how that's tracked, but that is much that that's elite three yards three yards of separation okay is elite to put that in perspective um our top two receiving targets last year Devontae Parker and Mike Isecki both had less than two yards of separation which is bad okay um which both I mean which I think Devontae Parker is at 1.7 yards of separation which is near the near the bottom of the NFL for all receivers and Mike Gusecki had two yards of separation per um, catch or per reception or target, which is near the bottom for all tight ends. Okay, so a, a main thing that um, a lot of people have been harping on is that we need receivers who will create separation. Okay, we need that. We, we don't need that go up and get the ball type receiver. We need someone who's going to get open. Okay, and Will Fuller is going to do that. Now to harp back on a point that I made previously, Will Fuller does not drop that many passes, okay? He had three drops last year, and that is much less than our main receiver had, Devontae Parker. He had seven drops last season, okay? He will bring a sense of stability and um, I guess, yeah, sense of stability and consistency. His, um, his hands are much more consistent than the receivers that the Dolphins were putting out there last year. I'm sure you guys can remember against the Bills, we had what, like 
like 11 drops or something along those lines last year. It was crazy. It was bad. I, 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 I still have bad memories of Isaiah Ford and Jakeem Grant. Just uh, let, let, let's not get into that. Okay, let's let's move on to the rest of the Dolphins offseason and what Will Fuller means um, regarding that. So I don't think we'll go out and sign another receiver throughout the offseason. I mean, we already got Will Fuller and Robert Foster, who will be a depth guy, I believe, who will replace Matt Collins, probably. And um, yeah, I don't think we have enough cap space anyways to go out and sign a Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, Kenny Galladay, uh, T.Y. Hill. And, um, I think we're set right now throughout the rest of free agency on the, at the wide receiver position. But that does not mean that I don't think we'll add on to that receiving core in the draft, okay? Um, there's two guys that I'm focused on right now that I think will pair beautifully next to Will Fuller, okay? Um, spoiler, I don't think it will be one of the Alabama guys, but uh, I mean, it could happen, okay? I don't, I don't think it will be Jalen Waddle or Devontae Smith, but hey, I mean, it could definitely happen. Uh, I think the Dolphins will look to want to want to sign a true, poss- a true wide receiver one in the upcoming NFL draft. Um, I don't think Will Fuller is that type of guy. I think um, I think he's a very explosive wide receiver two on the boundary. Um, so I th- so, okay. So going into the prospects, I think there's two main guys that the Dolphins will look at. Okay, uh, the first guy. Jamar Chase, I believe we have to, we'll have to take him at three, um, and J- J- he's unbelievable. He's he's remarkable. He had I think like 1,900 receiving yards his sophomore year at LSU. He opted out last year, but he's crazy. He's incredible. I've heard stuff on Twitter like I mean that oh he's not he's not a great separator. Whatever we need separators, dude. He's he's great. I like I mean I I care about separation with the receivers, but I mean. There's a point where it just doesn't matter. Chase is a phenomenal receiver. I don't like the Devontae Parker comparisons to him because he is that much better. He is athletic, strong. He's a pretty solid route runner. Um, And I think he'll be an instant addition to this team, an instant starter, in my opinion. Uh, And the next guy I really wasn't a huge fan of at first. Um, I would say partly because... um, mm, He's a Florida Gator, and uh, I'm a Miami Hurricane fan, so that might have been a little uh, personal bias against him. But um, I've I've done my research, and I, if if the Dolphins trade back to the seventh or eighth seventh or eighth spot, uh, which I think we might, um, then I think we have to take a hard look at Kyle Pitts, who I think will probably be available. By at that uh, around that area around that uh, seventh or eighth spot, and I mean Kyle Pitts, he's just he's a mate. He is, I, I, he's he, I'm speechless. Okay, he's a six six receiving tight end slash receiver. I mean he's not going to be a tight end in the NFL. He played tight end at Florida. Um, he's going to be a receiver. He runs I believe like a four five flat or a four around a four five area. I mean, he's like, like I said, 6'6". Six, six. He's not going to play tight end. He's not that good of a blocker. But he's just a mismatch anywhere on the field. I mean, he's just a weapon. And, I mean, he has the potential to be a just phenomenal NFL player, okay? I mean, I was watching some of his film from this past year at Florida. And, I mean, he's, <laughs> his route running for someone that's so big and strong is incredible okay i mean he's especially in the red zone he'll he'll be a go-to guy and um yeah i think the dolphins have to, say, have to take a strong look at kyle pitts if they end up training back to the seventh or eighth spot even if they stay at three actually um i i wouldn't mind the dolphins reaching at three for kyle pitts just because if they i mean if, if they think Pitts is their guy they have to go out and take him you know what i'm saying so that is an that that's it for today's video um, this, is my, this is my first time speaking on microphone to you guys, so uh, bear with me if there were some hiccups, but I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, subs- like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.